I think the the big inspiration for Tube and for me when I was first thinking of the idea is it was kind of a uh, a reaction to the fighting genre of games that was going on at the time, and I saw a, an enormous amount of violent activity in in video games at the time, and I. I think the, the big inspiration for Tube and for me when I was first thinking of the idea is it was kind of a, uh, a reaction to the fighting genre of games that was going on at the time. And I saw a, an enormous amount of violent activity in, in video games at the time. And, I, and I, I swore to myself there must be a way to create a game that's fun to play and can be it can earn a lot of money, but can be good, clean fun for kids to play. Well, I think it was a good, it was a fun game, and, and a lot of people enjoyed it. But it doesn't, it still didn't have the appeal that the violent games had. It was, it's just amazing. It's, uh, it's very difficult to come up with a concept that you would think that people would have fun playing as in a sort of a strategic way, a kind of a, an, in, a, in a challenging way in terms of the control to challenge yourself as a designer to come up with innovative new environments and approaches and um, and still um, the kids are drawn toward these these violent uh, these violent tendencies uh, later on I went to do primal rage which was a which was a big hit because it had a lot of blood in it. <laughs> so uh, you know it was it's, it's a reaction uh, to to kind of these these uh, these violent games and I thought that there was a way to, that we could make a game that would be good clean fun for kids and and I think that uh, Tubin was a Definitely a cult hit. There, there was a good, you know, strong, you know, following of the players that would always play it and would always and loved it and would play it all the way through. Uh, all, but it didn't have the broad base appeal that the, that the that some of the other games did.